What's up, guys? This is Dark Blue. Warlong has been out for some days. I believe you have played it a lot, right? So, how do you think? Is Warlong the best Three Kingdoms game? Let me talk about my thoughts in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's begin. I pay most attention to combat, so let's start with combat. And when talking about the combat of Warlong, we have to admit it is highly simplified from Neo. But being simplified is not always something bad. I have played Neon as well, and I'm certain it is so much complicated. In Neo, players have a lot of powerful martial arts to choose from, and controlling the character is very demanding. And in the meantime, enemies are strong as well. They have fierce and fast attacks that require close observation to dodge. With them combining together, this game is too overwhelming for me. But in fact, if we manually throw some part of it away, it can be easier. For example, if you try to play Neo in a Soul style, meaning you focus on dodging and counterattack using only basic weapon moves and no martial arts, you will find all the enemy attacks aren't hard to understand. This tells us all the combat mechanics in Neo is already too redundant. It is too overwhelming for most ordinary players. They don't have that capability to have full control of it, so throwing part of it away isn't truly a loss. Some may argue giving up so many martial arts isn't wise, but recall what you are doing in Neo most of the time. I believe you are actually repeating only one or two arts, right? And since most players aren't really using so many arts, it is wise for Team Ninja to really cut them off. Anyway, this is my first argument. Wolong is throwing much of Neon away indeed, but what it throws away was redundant anyway. So for most ordinary players, this is not a loss. And actually, Wolong even gains something from it. Back in Neon, where combat is so overwhelming, you don't know where to put your emphasis. Should you be focusing on your own moves, or should you pay attention to observing enemies' attacks? You just don't know. And for most players, it is hard to do both. But now that Wolong has simplified the moves of yourself, you know for sure you should be spending most time observing enemies instead of putting effort on your own moves. In this way, you know you are playing this game as how developers wish, and therefore you will have a better combat experience. This is what Wolong gains from throwing something redundant away. But these arguments are not thorough yet, as Wolong didn't throw everything away. In this game, you still have some arts binding to your weapons and spells as well. Those are the legacy of Neo. It looks little but has provided everything you may want. Arts and spells allow you to better stagger enemies and thus have a strong control over them. And spells can cause status effects, stunning even non-staggerable enemies. This ensures a possibility to go further for those who feel this game is too easy. Now I can say the combat of Wolong is a successful design. For most ordinary players, Wolong throws away what is already redundant, thus showing a more concentrated emphasis. And for those who want to go deeper, it still provides some arts and spells. All in all, judging from combat, Wolong is a good game. But it is good not only because of combat. Next, I want to talk about map design. In Neo, levels and maps are just so bad. But now, Wolong provides something different. Since now you can jump, designers have more possibilities to arrange the levels. Also, Morale is an interesting design. Exploring the map in Neon used to seem meaningless, as the reward for exploration is always some common gears that you can actually get from anywhere. But in Wolong, by capturing more flags, you will increase the lower limit of morale and thus make combat easier. This feels different and really encourages me to explore. Anyway, the map quality is already beyond my expectation. And one more thing, art design is also brilliant. At first glance, you will feel it's an interesting dark fantasy world with all kinds of imagined monsters. 
But in fact, these creatures do not just come out of designers' imagination. They are based on Chinese traditional culture and lores and myths. That's to say, they have a root. So you can feel the wild imagination and real culture in the same time. All in all, combat is still the most important to me, but map design and art design make this game even more attractive. I think Wulong is a good Three Kingdoms game. But of course, Three Kingdoms game isn't a very suitable concept, as you can make games of totally different genre out of Three Kingdoms story. And it's better to aggregate games according to their genre instead of the story they're based on. So it's alright if you have another best Three Kingdoms game in mind. If you like my story and if you want to join me into depths of games, just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you around.